Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the 2021 birthday event in Old School RuneScape. This is OSRS's 8th birthday event and RuneScape's 20th birthday since the game came out. The only item you need for this event are shears, though I recommend bringing some stamina potions and some weight reducing items as we are going to do a lot of running. I also recommend bringing an amulet of glory or other teleport method to Drainer Village a teleport to Lumbridge, such as a Lumbridge teleport tab, a teleport to Drainer Manor, such as the Drainer Manor teleport tab, uh, an Explorer's Ring 2, 3, or 4, as we're going to make our way to the Cabbage Patch, just south of Falador, and a Necklace of Passage to get yourself to the Wizard's Tower, as we need to start the event at the Wizard's Tower and end the event here. If you don't have these, don't worry, they're just going to help speed the event up. Um, and do note, this is very important, that you cannot use a home teleport at all during this event. It's going to make the gnome that follows you disappear and despawn. So do not use a home teleport if you are going to use teleport methods. Also, do not engage in random events that will teleport you. Um, because you cannot leave the area that this event takes place. If you leave the area that this event takes place in, you're going to lose the gnome that follows you. So make sure you stay within the Wizard's Tower area, the Lumbridge area, Drainer Manor area, and the Falador Farm Cabbage Patch area. But don't worry if you make yeah, or leave these areas. It's just going to make that gnome despawn that's following you. Uh, and if you need that gnome back, just make your way to the wizard's tower at the top and speak with the gnome, which we're going to do very, very soon. Okay, so to start the event, make yourself uh, make your way to where I am located. I am at the wizard's tower. And we need to make our way to the top floor and speak with wizard Grayzag. So come inside. And you can use a Necklace of Passage to get here quickly, the Wizard's Tower, or maybe even the Fairy Ring to our south. I believe the Fairy Ring code is DIS if you're using Fairy Rings. All right, go ahead and climb up to the very, very top and speak with Wizard Grayzag. He is in the East Room over here. And then select Option 2, How Can I Help You, followed by Option 3 when it pops up. What am I supposed to do? And then continue through the dialogue and select option one. Okay, I'll get on with it. Now we need to speak with the gnome child. Again, don't teleport once you speak with him. Otherwise, you're going to have to come back here and speak with him. Also, make sure you don't have a pet following you because he's going to act as a pet. So speak with the gnome child and select option one. Follow me and let's go. Followed by option two. How are we supposed to get to the the old man's hat, followed by option one. Okay, let's carry on. So now we're going to teleport to the wise old man. Again, do not use a home teleport. You can use other teleport methods within the area, uh, which is the fastest one will be to use an amulet of glory and a teleport to Drainer Village, because the wise old man is in Drainer Village. So I still have the gnome child behind me. And I also highly recommend always speaking to the gnome child after every interaction with NPCs, just to make sure you're, you're following through with the, uh, the event properly. So when you get to Drainer Village, make your way to the wise old man, and he's on, on the map. He's in just north of the bank. And when you speak with the wise old man, you're gonna select option three. All right. Ask about the green gnome child, option one. Um, in my case, it's different depending on if you've completed a certain quest. So in this event, if um, I complete a swan song, uh, it's going to have different different dialogue. Um, we'll take the hat option two, and then we're going to do option two again. Where can I find Hans? Followed by option one. Okay, let's carry on. Um, again. It's a little different per, for you. There's, there's a more option um, section, which is quest related. Try and focus on everything that's gnome child related, green gnome child related, if the options are different than what you see on my screen. The so next we need to make our way to Hans. Hans is located in the Lumbridge. So you can either run to the east or you can use a teleport to Lumbridge. You can use the Teletab or a Lumbridge, uh, the runes. Again, no home teleport. Okay, so now we need to speak with Hans. Hans circles the castle of Lumbridge in a clockwise manner, I believe. So I'm going to go counterclockwise to try and catch him. And I can see he's over here. 
actually I went clockwise too, so that really did nothing. But uh, go counterclockwise if you're if you're looking for him. And then speak with Hans and select option number three. Can we talk about this gnome child? And then you're going to get this compass looking thing after you go through the dialogue. And uh, that's it. You're done. Go ahead and close that. And now uh, speak with or continue the dialogue with the gnome child. If you don't, re, re speak with him. Because uh, now we need to go and find the cook. Um, some people in their videos skipped this part, but just always, always speak with a gnome child when you're done until he tells you who to speak with next, in this case the cook, and then say, okay, let's carry on option one. And the cook is located in the kitchen of Lumbridge Castle. So make your way to the kitchen, and I'll show it on the map for those who may not know where it's at. And then speak with, and speak with the cook. Um, again, talk about Gnome Child option three, and then it doesn't matter which option you select here. Um, go ahead and select option two though, as that's the video I've seen, but I've seen other people mention you can do option one. Um, again, I believe the dialogue's different based on the quest, if you've completed certain quests or not. Uh, the cook's usually involved with the cook's assistant, so. Okay, uh, that pops. Gonna, the screen's gonna pop up. Go ahead and close it when you're ready, and continue the dialogue with that gnome, and say, "Okay, let's carry on." Make sure you always continue the dialogue with the gnome. If you don't, um, you're not gonna be able to do the next part. So always continue in the next section with that gnome. After you speak with the cook, we're gonna make our way to Bob's Axe Shop, and Bob's Axe Shop is located just outside Lumber's Castle. Again, I'll show you the map. And come here and speak with Bob. Select option number four, talk about the gnome child. If that option's not there, speak with the gnome child first. Next, option number two, let's take that autograph and not ask awkward questions. And then we're going to select option number two again. Can you tell me exactly what to do? And then, okay, let's carry on because we have spoken the gnome child. Uh, next, we need to go to Sheep's Pen, just north of Lumbridge. And this is where you need the shears. So if you don't have shears, I believe you can purchase them in the general store. If you have some money, there's a bank in Lumbridge if you don't. Um, but I believe there's also a shear spawn. I'll show you where it's at. I'm not going to go to it because it's kind of out of the way, but I'll, I'll show you where it is with my mouse. Make your way into the Sheep Pen. Uh, the gate was open for me. As you can see, it's closed. So if you're not getting in, there's the gate. And then the shears spawn uh, over here. So if you do need shears, they're in this building to my west. And the sheep pen on the map, just north of Lumbridge. Uh, here we need to uh, shear the penguin um, costume. Uh, the, there's penguins that are dressed up as sheep. So I got to find where they are. And... I am not seeing them. Let's see. Maybe you don't need the penguins. Let's go ahead and sh uh, shear any any sheep and see what happens. You know, it looks like you definitely need to uh, shear the penguin one. Let me see if I can get my my gnome to help out in this case. Yeah, so I definitely need need to find the the proper one. Um, normally, it's not this hard, but for me, I guess it is. So there it is. Okay, no, yeah, you definitely do need to shear the proper sheep. I do apologize for the extra length. Uh, the one that says "talk to sheep," there are penguins underneath it. Uh, a little bit difficult to find, but we found it. So now we need to go and make our way to Drainer Manor. Uh, and get some feathers for the gnome child. And I'm just going to go through the options. I don't believe you need to, but just to make sure I don't miss anything. Um, when you make your way to Drainer Manor, this is where you use that Drainer Manor teleport. So I'm going to go ahead and break it. And again, I'll show you on the map exactly where we're going. Here's Drainer Manor, just north of Drainer Village. So you could use a glory teleport if you want. Again, no home teleports. 
Uh, now we have to go to the top floor of Drainer Manor. Then enter the door. Climb up the staircase. And climb up this staircase to our west. And then uh, go east into this this room with uh, Professor Odenstein. And take Odd Feathers. And we're almost done. So we have that Odd Feather. Go ahead and speak with the Gnome Child one more time. What do we do now? As you can see, this is the dialogue that didn't pop up. You actually do need to speak manually to the Gnome Child here. Uh, now we need to go to the Cabbage Field and collect some cabbages for the Gnome Child. Okay, so I may have closed that too early, but teleport or make your way to the cabbage field. And I'll know if I close it too early because now I'm here. Pick any cabbage up and the gnome child should tell you that you have completed the tasks. And I'm gonna talk with the gnome child. Uh, what do we do now? It looks like I do, so you don't need to go through every bit of dialogue, uh, but I have completed this next step. So now we need to make our way back to the Wizard's Tower. I'm going to use the Necklace of Passage, Wizard's Tower. Oops, I totally forgot. This is where the uh, Cabbage Field is. Alright, now we're back at the Wizard's Tower. And I'm going to go back upstairs to the very, very top of the tower. And speak with the Gnome Child who's here. Um, the dialogue's already started for me, but I speak with this gnome child, and a cutscene is going to start. And after the cutscene, you have completed the 2021 birthday event in Old School RuneScape, and you will unlock the 20th anniversary outfit, the gnome child mask, the gnome child icon, and two noted half full wine jugs. You'll also be able to uh, visit some of the old graphics from throughout the days. As you can see, these black demons over here and these lesser demons and maybe even greater demons. Different graphics. That's not what they look like today. Right? They look a little different. Um, on top of the items that you unlocked, if you haven't completed previous birthday events, you'll also receive those items as well. So you receive all the previous items from other events as well as uh, this year's 20th event. Or or the events from this year. Um, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you all in my future videos.